Hello guys, Keith White on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, and as well if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I looked on my channel analyt analytics, 70% of you that have been watching the videos the past 28 days are not subscribed to the channel, so especially Blues fans, I can't do this without you. We've got so much content coming throughout the summer. Please, just do me one huge favour, smash that subscribe button and turn those po post notifications on, because... Like I said, we need your guys' support to, you know, grow the channel, get to that 4K and then 5K after that. Um, so, yeah, massively appreciated to every single one of you that does um, do that, does click that subscribe button. But in today's video, we've got um, a video talking about um, St Andrews Nighthead Park. Um, so, Birmingham City Stadium work accelerates. Um, this is an article from Birmingham Live. Um, Head of Infrastructure Nick Smith is overseeing the improvements to St Andrews at Knighthead Park. Um, St Andrews is undergoing a makeover for the second successive summer ahead of the start of Birmingham City's League One campaign. Owners Knighthead have pledged £15 million to improve the club's existing infrastructure this summer and work is already well underway at the stadium. Um, of course, Blues closed the club shop over the weekend until further no uh, notice to allow builders to begin work. In addition to the permanent fan zone being built on the main stand car park, Blues are also opening a pop-up entertainment hub on the Cop Car Park. In order to create a more joined-up experience for supporters, changes are being made to the shop. Um, head of info head of infrastructure Nick Smith explained we are renovating the retail shop and the reason I tell you that is because we're going to reorientate the retail store so that the front door faces the cop front entrance and the fan park and yes that was actually mentioned by Tom Wagner I believe in an interview he did with uh, Birmingham City Football Club um, so there is work being done inside the stadium too Blues have employed events crew to install a track a trackway around the perimeter of the pitch of St Andrews. Trackway, uh, yeah, we don't care about that to be fair. This is the picture and this is going to be the thumbnail of this video. So events crew have installed a new trackway around the perimeter of St Andrews, like I said. And to be fair, this stadium needed renovate, it's needed renovation for a very long time now. Um, and that actually looks pretty cool to be fair, just a shame that it's going to be a League One stadium next season. That <coughs> sorry about that. That colour of blue, you know, it definitely does look better um, than it did do. When these owners, before these owners come into the football club, I mean, this stadium was like uh, half of it was com half of it was falling. Well, half of it literally fell down. You know, um, half the stadium was just not even occupied. We was playing games in front. Of we we was playing games in front of fans, but it was like it was like half the stadium was not even you know you couldn't even access it. It seemed weird, and you know after COVID as well, when every everyone was allowed back into stadiums, ours you know was technically open but not fully open, which did seem weird to be fair. And we actually did survive that season as well when it was um, half open. Um, it's weird that when it was um, fully open, we got relegated. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, Knighthead are putting the money into the football club, infrastructure-wise. You know, hopefully we can see some players come into the football club that can absolutely kill it and get us promoted back to the championship next season. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, down below. Like I said, it's been keep watching on TV. Much just like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can hit uh, 100 likes. Thanks for watching. Cheers, always, guys. Keep working.